Hi, my name is Brian from Denmark, your tech friend, and this is an unboxing of the Moto G60S, as well as I'll be comparing it with the Motorola H20 Lite. Las chicas tienen traseros grandes. Unboxing time! Ooh, I love unboxings and what more not to love than a double unboxing. The reason why I'm doing this double unboxing is because I received them both kindly from Motorola. I'm not obliged to say anything nice about them or anything against them. So this is totally my own opinion of my experience. The fastest turbo power charging ever, 20 hours in 12 minutes. That's uh, quite amazing, right? The 6.820 hertz smooth display, ultra responsive performance. Ultra Responsive performance. What does that mean? Comes with 128 gigabytes of internal storage and six gigs of RAM. And the Motorola has already been open just a wee bit, but it's not me. And uh, it seems like it's completely undisturbed inside. This one has got eight gigs of RAM. So let's open the box right now. Both phones are relatively new. This one is uh, released in August 12th. The other one is released in August 16th. Let's just see it right away. Yeah, so you can see it's completely new, both of them. But this is what you get. This is, of course, the Edge one is a, a 6.7 inch screen with a 90 hertz refresh rate screen. You got a cord. <laughs> That's pretty fun. There's room there for something, but it just isn't there. Or was it the cord that was supposed to be there? How weird is that? But it is USB-C to USB-C, and this, of course, is the insane charger. Okay, it's really got some heft to it. This is a 50 watt charger. That's insane. That's why you get 12 hours of uh, charging time in 12 minutes. And over here, we got a 30 watt charger, and we got USB-C to USB-C. Yeah, not new there. So that's what you get in the boxes. I love boxes. Okay, so let's do the peeling. Smooth. Okay, and both of them, of course, come with this uh, new casing, which I like a lot because then you're just off to go right away. And both of them are with 5,000 milliampere battery. They have fingerprint authentication Hello, on the back Hello. of the G6s and on the side of the H20 Lite. Both of those solutions are, of course, brilliant because they work always better than in display uh, fingerprint, in my opinion. The Moto G60S has really got some heft to it because it weighs in at 212 grams, whereas the Edge just weighs 100 and it <laughs> just weighs 185 grams. Come the day when you had to say it just weighs 185 grams. That's insane. Why, why have thumb phones come to this? It's just ridiculous. Well, let's have a look at the size of these two phones. You have a. This is gonna be a Google button, assistant button on the Edge. And you over here you have the power on off, you have volume up down, and you have a Google Assistant on the G60, whereas the placement is Google Assistant on the opposite side on the H20 Lite. And then you have the power on off, uh, as well as the fingerprint authentication of your volume up down. Oh, another thing that's worth noticing is that this one has got an IPS LCD screen, and this one has got an OLED. So that means no matter what, in all cases, the OLED screen is always better. But uh, as far as I can tell to the naked eye here, I can't see any difference right now. I'll just power these off and see how they look uh, in real life. Okay, and try and have a listen. They have really made the, made the backside grippy of this Moto G60S. It is superb. It is brilliant. It's such an easy fit in the hand now. And actually, it's somewhat the same on the Edge Lite. Not as grippy, but a superb. Look at this kind of steel finish. It's superb. It's very, it's very pretty and it feels good in the hand. Not like super premium, but good. Two places where these phones really set themselves apart from each other is on the cameras and on the chipset actually. The chipset I talked to at the end, but I just want to walk through the camera specs because the G60S has got a 64 megapixel 1.7 aperture uh, main shooter. It's got an 8 megapixel ultra wide 2.2. And it's got a, that's brilliant actually, a 5 megapixel macro. And then the last one is a depth sensor. So that's the camera setup. And when I set 
that's what sets these phones apart. I mean, that's because the edge has got a whopping 108 megapixel 1.9 aperture main shooter. And then it's got an 8 megapixel 2.2 aperture ultra wide. Then it's got a 2 megapixel depth sensor and of course the flash. So what will be interesting about these two phones is of course to compare them and see uh, how much apart are these cameras actually. My guess is that actually the edge would be, would be much better. And then the last thing I'm going to talk to you about is boring. I know it's boring but it's the chipset. And the reason why it's kind of interesting is because they're actually pretty much the same in speed. They have like a CPU that runs around 2 gigahertz, both of them, and they got 8 CPUs in them so there's really nothing much the system part there they got different gpus but there's not also not as much the system part there but what is system part is that this one come the motor g60s comes with a mediatek helio g95 whereas this one comes with a mediatek dimensity 725g and what that means is because this one the g60s has got an older chipset in it it actually consumes twice the power or at least according to the uh, the measurements on the chipset itself so this uses twice the power as the motor h light what that means is just that well, this is probably gonna, if you use it pretty intensely, it's gonna only last you a day, whereas this is gonna last you two days, probably even three days if you're lucky and a light user. So that was the last things I'm gonna tell you about these two phones, and we'll test them out in a comparison coming up here or up here, or perhaps not. But if you like the content you just saw, please do remember to press like and comment. My name is Brian from Denmark, your tech friend. Recuerda presionar los pezones y presionar el pene. See you in the next one.